Hey YouTube, this is Daniel here from the Me Web account. Today I'm going to be unboxing the new WMR200 weather station from Argon Scientific. Uh, we got this last week from the UK weather shop .co UK, uh, but we're only getting a chance to open it today. Uh, but in this video, I'm just going to unbox it for you guys, uh, and then once I have it finished, uh, I'll show you how I've set it up in my garden, and then I'll show you the console itself. Okay, so here's the box again. Uh, here's the other two sensors as well, so I'm going to go ahead and unbox this. So let's see. Side, and there's a little tray here, cardboard tray with all the sensors in it. Oh. Okay, kind of hard to get out, but then we have in here a CD for uh, that's actually from the weather shop that I bought it from. And uh, we have an insulation booklet here, instruction manual, and we have some cardboard down there just to protect the bottom. I think there might be some of it. There's poles actually in that seat down there. There's poles in that box. So here's all the sensors. Here we have the actual console itself that uh, receives the information from the sensors. There it is right there. It's the silver one, which is the one they sell in Europe. So it feels pretty nice. There it is right there. And it actually just has a stick on it now, that's why it's, it looks like it's turned on. And here's the area, it sticks up on the side. That's pretty nice. And then what else do we have here? There's some more poles it's for the wind anometer. We have the anometer here. It's very delicate actually. So we have the anometer right there. It's pretty nice. And we have the solar panel here, which is used to power the wind sensor uh, and or the temperature and humidity sensor. So uh, I might use that. Uh, what else do we have here? We have temperature and humidity sensor here. Uh, in its enclosure, I think. It's enclosure. So there it is right there. Can you see it? Let's take that out of the bag. Okay. And we have the rain bucket here over this side, which I think has to be still assembled. It's actually way smaller than I thought it would be. There it is right there. Then we have the grill in here to catch all the uh, leaves or whatever. Stuff like that. And we have the transformer here to plug into the console. I don't think they gave us bad I don't think they give you batteries. Um, this is just the base here for the pole. Loads of metal hooks and stuff in there. We have a USB cable here actually, so I'll connect that into my Mac. Um, have some more little connectors here. And we have some more little plastic bars and all up there. For, and we have some cables here. These are for securing the pole down. And, oh, we do have batteries here, that's right now. There's loads of batteries here. Yeah. I fell out of the bag now. There we go, loads, loads of batteries there. So, uh, that's pretty good. I didn't know they are going to give me batteries though. So, um, we have the little pole that sticks into the ground there. You see it. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the unboxing, guys, uh, of the weather station. So, uh, I think I might just go and now I'll unbox the solar sensor as well or the UV sensor, pardon me because I'm definitely going to be using this I think I'm the first to actually do one of these videos on YouTube I haven't found anyone else that's an unboxing of this weather station so far hopefully I'm the first and we have some more instruction manuals here we have a wall mount bracket and we have the sensor here itself which is pretty small there we go. There it is right there. I only have batteries in here as well. So, that's pretty nice. Okay, so I think that's it. Um, oh yeah, we have some screws in here as well. In that box, I'll take them out later. So, it's a bit of a mess on my floor here. <laughs> but anyway, that's pretty much it guys for the unboxing of um, 
the weather station. So we'll come back now in a few hours or tomorrow even uh, to show you how I've actually set it up in my garden. Okay guys, so here we go. Uh, it's the next day. Um, I've set all my sensors up uh, last night and uh, it took only about an hour. Uh, it was pretty easy to do. Uh, we set it up on this pole that comes with the weather station into the ground like this. And we have the three stabilizing wires uh, in the ground as well. There's a solar panel here and this is uh, connected into the temperature and humidity sensor here. You can see it in there. And we have the other wire going up into the anometer which is spinning around at the moment. It's not that much wind now but last night actually there was an awful lot and we set this up here, the rain gauge we set this up on a pole, a wooden pole, kind of table thing. We rounded it off. And uh, we got a good bit of rain last night as well. So that's uh, this first three sensors. So I have the UV sensor here set up on uh, the side of the shed. And uh, I this transmits every uh, few minutes. Okay guys, so here's the base station. Uh, it's a touchscreen display and uh, you can power by batteries or by uh, using the transformer. It's wireless, obviously you can see here there's the aerial to the sensors that side. Uh, we have pressure up here, I have it in hectopascal so you can change the units. Uh, there's no rainfall at the moment, although there was some over the past 24 hours, 7.4 millimeters. Uh, we have UV level 1 here at the moment, um, 21.5 degrees outside, 54% humidity uh, outside, and this is the indoor temperature and humidity as well. Uh, time, and uh, we have a moon phase here, it's a new moon tonight. Uh, it's a southeasterly wind. Uh, it's very blustery at the moment though, so it's probably going to change. 8.3, 8.6 kilometers an hour. With It's a light wind, see so it's changed now. And um, we have a bar chart here down for pressure, uh, rainfall and UV levels as well. And it draws itself there. So you can also set alarms for the different parts. I have when the UV level reaches 10 it beeps and when the rainfall reaches 6 millimeters an hour it beeps as well. And you can set loads of other ones as well here. Here we have the forecast for the next 12 to 24 hours. Uh, partly cloudy. So that's pretty much it guys. You can see the uh, rainfall icon here and no matter what, depending on what part of the screen you touch uh, the different lights light up. So that's pretty cool. Um, you can connect it in through USB. I have a USB cable plugged in here. And it shows the little USB icon right there. I have it connected into my Mac here. And um, I'll show you the software some other time. But that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Um, this has been uh, an unboxing and uh, demonstration of the new WMR200 weather station from Oregon Scientific.